babes in the wood, criminals in the stocks or pillory, babble, confused, unintelligible talk, such as was used at the building of the Tower of Babel. Oh yeah, we're on B, I just noticed. Backbiter, one who slanders another behind his back, i.e. in his absence, his bosom friends have become his back. Biters, said of lousy man, backed, dead. He wishes to have the senior old square toes backed. He longs to have his father on six men's shoulders that is carrying to the grave. Backup, his backup, i.e. he is offended or angry, an expression or idea taken from a cat. The animal, when angry, always raises its back. Eh, an illusion. Allusion. Also sometimes used to jeer a crooked man as, So, sir, I see somebody has offended you. Your back is up. Bacon. He saved his bacon. He has escaped. He has a good voice to beg bacon. He sang in ridicule of a bad voice. Bacon-faced. Full-faced. Bacon-fed. Fat. Greasy. Backgammon player. A sodomite. Backdoor usher or gentleman of the the same bad bargain, one of Majesty's bad bargains, a worthless soldier, a manly gonga, a maligera badge, a term used for one burned in the hand. He has got his badge and piked, he was burned in the hand and is a liberty. Cunt. Badge cove. Parish pensioners, cunt. Badgers, a crew of desperate villains, villains who robbed near rivers, into which they threw the bodies of those they murdered. Cunt. Bag. He gave them a bag, i.e. left them. Bag of nails. He squints like a bag of ma nails, i.e. His eyes are directed as many ways as points of a bag of nails. The bag of nails at Pimlico, originally the back channels. Baggage. Heavy baggage. Women and children. Also a familiar epithet for a woman as cunning baggage, wanton baggage at sea. Baker's dozen. Fourteen, that number of rolls being allowed to the purchases of a dozen. Baker need, one whose knees knock together in walking, as if kneading dough. Balderdash, alterated wine, ballocks, ballocks, the testicles of a man or breast or beast, also a vulgar nickname for a parson. His brains are in his ballocks, a can't saying to designate a fool. Palum rancum, a hop or dance where the women are all prostitutes. NB, the company dance in their birthday suits. Balsam money, bam, a jocular imposition, the same as a humbug. See humbug. To bam, to impose on anyone by a falsity, also to jeer or make fun of anyone. To bamboozle, to make a fool of anyone, to humbug or impose on him. Banagan. He beats Banagan, an Irish saying of one who tells wonderful stories. Perhaps Banagan was a minstrel famous for dealing in the marvellous. Bandbox. Mine ass on a bandbox. An answer to the offer of anything inadequate to the purpose of which it is proffered. Like offering a bandbox for a seat. Banbury story of a cock and a bull. A roundabout nonsensical story. Bandog. A bailiff or his follower. Also a very fearless mastiff, likewise a bandbox cunt. Bang up, whip, quite the thing, hellish fine, well done, complete, dashing in a handsome style. A bang up cove, a dashing fellow who spends his money freely to bang up crimes or bring your horses up in a dashing or fine style, as the swells, rattler and prads are bang up prime. The gentleman sports an elegant carriage and fine horses. To bang, to beat. Banging, great, a fine banging boy. Bang straw, a nickname for a fresher, but applied to all servants of a farm. Bankrupt cart, a one-horse chase said to be so called by a Lord Chief Justice from their being so frequently used on Sunday jaunts by extravagant shopkeepers and tradesmen. Banks horse, a horse famous for playing tricks. The property of one Banks is mentioned in Sir Walter Rayliff's heist of the world P. 178, also by Sir Kelle, Ken Elm, Digby and Ben Johnson. Bantling, a young child. Banyan Day, a sea term for those days on which no meat is allowed to the sailors. The term is borrowed from Banyans in the East Indies to cast their eat, nothing that had life. Baptised or christened, rum, brandy or any other spirits that have been lowered with water. Barber's chair. She is as common as a barber's chair, in which a whole parish sit to be trimmed. Bargies, Cambridge, bargemen on the river. 
Barker, the shopman of a Bow Wow shop or dealer in second-hand clothes, particularly about Monmouth Street, who walks before his master's doors and deafens every passenger with his cries of clothes, coats or gowns. What die want genman? What you buy? See Bow Wow shop, Berkshire. A member of candidate for Berkshire said of one troubled with a cough, vulgarly styled barking, barking irons, pistols from the explosion resembling the bow wow or barking of a dog, Irish. Barn, a person's barn, never so full, but there is still room for more, bit by a barn mouse, tipsy, probably from an allusion to barley. Barnaby, an old dance to a quick movement, see Cotton in his Virgil travesty, where, speaking of Olus, he has these lines, bounce, cry, the portholes, out they fly, and make the world dance Barnaby. Barnacle, a good job or snack, easily got, also shellfish growing at the bottoms of ships. A bird of the goose, kind, an instrument like a pair of pincers, to fix on the noses of vicious horses, whilst shoeing a nickname for spectacles, and also for the gratuity given to grooms by the buyers and sellers of horses. Barrel fever, he died, he died of the barrel fever, he killed himself by drinking. Barrow Man, a man under sentence of transportation, alluding to the convicts at Woolwich, who are principally employed in wheeling barrels full of brick or dirt. Bartholomew Baby, a person dressed up in a tawdry manner like the dolls or babies sold at Bartholomew Fair. Basket, an exclamation frequently made use of in cockpits at cockfighting, where persons refusal, refusing or unable to pay their losings are judged by that respectable assembly to be put in baskets suspended over the pit, there to remain during the day, day's diversion on the least deemer to pay a bet. Basket is vociferated in terrorum. He grins like a basket of chips, a saying of one who is on board. Broad grin. Basket making. The good old trade of basket making. Copulation of making feet for children's stockings. Bastard, the child of an unmarried woman. Bastardly gullion, a bastard's bastard. To baste, to beat, I'll give him his beatings, I'll beat him heartily, heartily. Basting, a beating. Baste and aiding, beating anyone with a stick from a baton. A stick, formerly spelt baston, bat. A low whore, so called from moving out like bats in the dusk of the evening. Batch. We had a pretty batch of it last night. We had a hearty dose of liquor. Batch originally means the whole quantity of bread barked, baked at one time in an oven. Batner, an ox. Beef being apt to batten or fatten those that eat it. The cove has hushed the batner, i.e. has killed the ox. Bachelor's fair, bread and cheese and kisses. Bachelor's son, a bastard. Battle royal, a battle or bout at cudgels or fisticuffs wherein more than two persons are engaged, perhaps from its resemblance in that particular to more serious engagements fought to settle royal disputes. Bauby, a half penny scotch. Baubells, a baubles. Trinkets, a man's testicles. Bored, a female procuress. For the basket, the 23rd rank of canters, who carry pins, tape, ballads, and obscene books to sell, but live mostly by stealing, cunt. Bawdy house bottle, a very small bottle, short measure, being among the many means used by the keepers of those houses to gain what they call an honest livelihood. Indeed, this is one of the least reprehensible, the less they give a man of their infernal beverages for his money, the kinder they behave to him. Bay fever, a term of ridicule applied to convicts who sham illness to avoid being sent to Botany Bay. Bayard of Ten Toes, to ride Bayard of Ten Toes, is to walk on foot. Bayard was a horse famous in old romances. Beak, a justice of peace or magistrate, also a judge of chairman or who presides in court. I clapped my peepers full of tears, for the old beak set me free. I began to weep when the judge set me free. Bean, a guinea, half bean, half a guinea. Bear, one who contracts to deliver a certain quantity of some stock in the public fund, funds on a future day and at a stated price, or in other words, sells what he has not got, like the huntsman in the fable who sold the bear's skin, before the bear was killed, as the bear sells the stock he is not possessed of, 
So the ball purchases what he has not money to pay for, but in cases of any alteration in the price agreed on, either party pays or receives the difference. Exchange ally. Ali. Bear garden jaw or discourse. Rude vulgar language such as was used at the bear gardens. Bear leader. A travelling tutor. Beard splitter. A man much given to wenching. Bearings. I'll bring him his bearings. I'll bring him to reason. Sea term. Beast. To drink like a beast. I.e. only when thirsty. Beast with two backs. A man and a woman in the act of copulation. Shakespeare in Othello. Beta cases. Boots. Cunt. View nasty. A slovenly fop. Or one finely dressed but dirty. 